Part 2. You will hear the chair of a committee on park facilities addressing her local town council about changes that have been made to the park. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 16. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 16. As chair of the Town Council Subcommittee on Park Facilities, I'd like to bring you up to date on some of the changes that have been made recently to the Croft Valley Park. So if you could just take a look at the map I handed out, let's begin with a general overview. So. The basic arrangement of the park hasn't changed. It still has two gates, north and south, and a lake in the middle. The cafe continues to serve an assortment of drinks and snacks, and is still in the same place, looking out over the lake and next to the old museum. We're hoping to change the location of the toilets and bring them nearer to the centre of the park, as they're a bit out of the way at present, near the Adventure Playground, in the corner of your map. The formal gardens have been replanted and should be at their best in a month or two. They used to be behind the old museum, but we've now used the space near the south gate, between the park boundary and the path that goes past the lake towards the old museum. We have a new outdoor gym for adults and children, which is already proving very popular. It's by the glass houses, just to the right of the path from the south gate. You have to look for it, as it's a bit hidden in the trees. One very successful introduction has been our skateboard ramp. It's in constant use during the evenings and holidays. It's near the old museum, at the end of a little path that leads off from the main path between the lake and the museum. We've also introduced a new area for wildflowers to attract bees and butterflies. It's on a bend in the path that goes round the east side of the lake just south of the Adventure Playground. 